hello guys welcome back to design and tech or beauty channel this is the voice of color gravis your creative uh, graphics designer and this video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys uh, how i create uh, this beautiful by the flyer how the background is been manipulated and how everything on this flyer is been done but before diving into the video if you are new viewer please kindly click on the subscribe button and put on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload me an amazing video. And as for the returning viewers, thank you, I really appreciate. So just like I said earlier, I'm going to be showing you guys how this by the flyer you seen on the screen is being corrected, is being designed. So carefully watch the video to the very end so that you can understand the step by step a process. So uh, the bag, uh, the size for the by the bag, uh, uh, for the by the uh, flyer is 1,120 by 1,280. So let's just change our, our background. I delete at the test on the screen and I change the size. So it is 1,120 by 1,280. So this is the size of the by the flyer. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be importing uh, the background, the background I'll be using for the by the fly. I'm gonna be importing it from uh, my gallery. So just uh, tap easily use uh, your background by tapping on this icon here, that red eye dot. You tap on it, then you uh, click on use image from gallery. Then you are going to be selecting any or uh, any folder where you have the uh, resources you want to use are uh, available. So you can see this is the background. I don't know why this. So you can see this is the background we are using in creating the flyer. I got the background from uh, Pinterest. So you can just uh, search on Pinterest. You can go to Pinterest and search uh, by the background, by the flyer background. You will get a lot of uh, different uh, backgrounds you can manipulate. So you can see this after getting the uh, background from uh, Pinterest. I uh, make it blow with my uh, photo room app. I will put in a link in the video description which will be teaching you guys uh, how you can blur images using your photo room app. So just uh, the, the, the uh, place I will be using is the top. So I will just drag this to the top then I click on this uh, mark button. So now we have our background imported. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be importing uh, the, uh, back, the uh, celebrant image from a gallery. So this is a celebrant image. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be increasing the size. So just place it here. Just place the celebrant image like that. Then the next thing I'll be doing is I will be creating a fading a gradient. To create a fading gradient, you click on shape. So you you slide down to color here. You click on gradient. Then you click on the uh, you select uh, this white and black uh, gradient. Then you select, uh, you click on the plus icon. You click on this uh, black uh, place. Click on color here. Click on the color icon here. You click on this. Click on this color icon. Then you drag this down to create a fading gradient. You drag uh, this down click on ok then you can see now uh we've created the fading gradient one side is faded one side is showing white so you can see this uh, this is a fading uh, gradient so the next thing i will be doing is just increase the size and uh, bring it to the middle like this then i'll be texturing uh, this a uh, fading gradient i'll be texturing it with a uh, the by the background so just i uh, make sure the uh, fading gradient is selected then click on texture click on gallery then your gallery opens up then i will click on uh, this by the background then i'll be selecting 
at this part and click on the check mark you can see this so i can just uh with this this a little bit let's change the fading gradient i'm gonna have delete this and little fading gradient Let me try this again. Increase the size. Then I move to texture. You are texturing it uh, with the by the uh, with the background. Let's try editing this, and I think uh, the fading gradient is too much. Can I increase this? <coughs> so you can see that you can see how I did I do that. So I'll just copy this. No, I'm not copying the image. I'll copy this uh, fading gradient with texture. I'll copy this, then turn it around. I'll turn it like around like this, and um, bring it to the back. I think you can see that. So let's log this to our screen in Tavis. That is how the background uh, manipulation is done. So the next thing I'll be doing is. I will bring in some uh, flowers. This flower, I'm gonna be placing one here. One flower is placed here. Another one is placed here. Right then the next thing, I will import another fl another flower, which is this, and place it here. The flower is placed here. Yeah. So let, let me move at the celebrant image to the middle. I think this image is too light. So the next now we're importing another uh, resources. So this. This is placed here. Then uh, it, it, we are done uh, with uh, importing of resources. So the next thing we'll be doing is uh, the creating of test. Just click on your test app icon and uh, edit it with your test. Glorious. Move to font. The font I'll be using for this test is autograph autograph i'll be putting the name of the font in the video description so you can just uh, get to know the font i use i'll create another test which is that day font now move to font this is a pixel app App. This is Pixel App font, so it is already available in the Pixel App. The name is Cartoon Maker, so I will just click on OK. And put a Yeah. I hope you are getting how things is been done. So after that, 
I will write another test here. Another test. Joy. Happiness. Long life. Prosperity. The, the font I'll be using for this is Monsterant Semi Boot. Monsterant Semi Boot. I will reduce the size a little bit and place it. I'll make sure this is placed on the same alignment with this. I think it's okay like this. Make sure uh, these are test and these are golden icon. Make sure they are on the same alignment. So the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be creating another test. So just click on the test icon here. Then we'll be putting a wish, a by the wish app, uh, just like a by the wish under the by the uh, on your on your birthday tumor i wish you a new year filled with joy love happiness long life and prosperity live and live to, to the glorious of the lord so i will be changing the font for this the font for this will be monster and semi boot then move to align this is align you move to align here move to align then use the center alignment and reduce at the size of the test. Place it uh, below uh, the bad day uh, the bad day test here. Yeah? Then I will be creating another test which is at uh, the creative designer where I place add that on top you can use your brand name the creative designer so i will just move to test then use uh just i will use you can use any font let's take another monster uh test another monster font Let's use my stand medium for this. Then you will reduce the size of the test. Then increase the spacing and change the color of the attest. You just place it on, on the on the top of the celebrant are like this. So that is just how I create the body flyer and manipulate it into uh, the background. You can see we are done uh, creating the body flyer. You can see this is the exact thing we are is on the body uh, flyer. You can see the body flyer. You can see uh, the body flyer we are done uh, creating uh, the body flyer so the next thing we are going to do we are going to save it save it as image save as png and save as ultra to have a nice standard resolution image then we'll be moving to our snapseed to give it some retouch so that the body flyer will be more beautiful so to our snapseed app I will put in the link to download uh, the Snapseed app if you don't know about the Snapseed app before. So once you enter the Snapseed app, this is the first interface you'll be having in the Snapseed app. So like you can see it is written on it, tap anywhere to open a photo. So just click on this uh, plus icon, then you have the, your image like this. Select the image, you can see the image has been selected, move to tools, then uh, you can after clicking on tools. After clicking on Tuesday, click on details. 
click on dt then you can increase up here you can see we have something called our structure you can see this is our structure then you can uh, place your hand on the screen and then slide to the front place your hand on the screen slide up you can see we have sharpening then increase your sharpening uh, you can just uh, use anything based on what you design based on your design you know uh, designs are favorites are editing these are uh, based on how the texture of your design so once you are done uh, with uh, the structure and the sharpening so you just click on the check mark here then you can see uh, the difference between our former design and the new uh, with uh, these are uh, small editing so the next thing click on do the again then you can see on the first uh, drop down menu we have a uh, tune image here click on tune image then slide or place your hand on the screen slide up your see saturation increase the saturation a little bit slide up again increase uh, the ambience a little bit slide up again increase the highlight then check mark here this is the check mark our uh, button then you can see our you can see our design you can see that so if you want further editing you can just uh, move to your uh, you can move to your uh, lightroom to give it a uh, further editing but as for this you can see this is beautiful so that is just how i uh, created a body flyer and edited it with the use of my snapseed app so if you find this video if you find it helpful you find it inspiriting please kindly share to fellow graphics designers so that they can also have benefit from this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe